Greetings and salutations, good people. My name is Otis James Bush Jr. This is OJB Cooking. Today we're going to be hooking up some salmon with a little garlic butter thyme drizzle. Uh, we're going to make up some uh, good old mashed potatoes. Might even throw a little <laughs> dab of ranch in there, you know, a little razzle dazzle. We also going to do some good old asparagus as well. We're going to uh, rub that down with some olive oil, some herbs and whatnot. And then we're going to roast that in the oven in a good old pan. What you're going to need, uh, you're going to need uh, some fresh thyme. You're going to need some fresh dill. Bundle of asparagus, potatoes, I got uh, three large potatoes, a lemon, garlic, unsalted butter, good old sour cream, ranch packets, and of course, fresh good old salmon. Right now, the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and uh, chop up our taters, our potatoes. Uh, we just want to chop these up into uh, reasonable chunk sizes. Uh, I use three uh, large potatoes. It definitely yielded enough. A ton of mashed potatoes. We're going to go ahead and fill those up just slightly above the potato line uh, with the water. Add a pinch of salt and we're going to boil those out for about 18 to 20 minutes until they're nice and soft. We'll slow the chicken back to us. All right, we'll add a half a stick of butter, a little salt, and uh, we just go add salt and seasonings as we go along until we get to the taste, uh, the desired taste. No no specified seasoning amount, you know, season to your liking. Uh, we go add the milk as we go along as well, trying to get the desired creaminess, creaminess. that on up real good starting to look like mashed potatoes but we're not quite there get that good form workout in a little pepper like I said just adding as we go along until we get to taste and texture that I'm looking for. A little ranch for your hair top. A little more milk. A little more salt. Mix them up real good. A little more dab of ranch. A little more milk. Keep mixing. Forms burning. I think we're good to go. We're going to chop up this deal right quick. Watch your fingers. Watch your fingers. And you just want to get your deal chopped up nice and fine. Uh, just a, a FYI, I ended up using uh, probably double this amount of deal. Uh, so when you see me mixing it in later on, uh, after I mixed it, I actually doubled back after all was said and done and chopped up probably the same amount of deal and added it into my deal sauce. Cut up this hit garlic or crush up this hit garlic and peel it. I find the easiest way to, to peel your garlic is to go ahead and mash it up. There's some other like uh, ways you can do it, but I find this to be the easiest method. So you just want to crush it and crush again. Uh, now your, your clothes are not going to look perfect because you're going to crush it a bit, but it's much easier to peel like, you know, super, super, super. First one down. We're gonna do three of these. All right, look clean up. All right, now we're about to mix up our deal sauce. But like I said, I use about double that amount of deal. So if you go do it just like this, go ahead and add yourself some extra deal. I'm going to cut up this here lemon, squeeze a half into our dill sauce. 
And then, you know, the deal sauce is optional. Everybody don't fool with deal sauce. And the dish is actually excellent without it. You know, I'll be honest. Kind of did it as just part of the accoutrement for the video. You know? But I definitely, uh, I like deal sauce as well. So, it's a win-win. Nice Alright. We'll add a little olive oil to all the asparagus here. Alright. We'll add a little garlic powder. Like a, just like the other stuff, you know, add as much or as little as you want. Um, you know, I'm, I'm plenty of garlic powder person, a little sea salt. So add that in as well. And of course, some black pepper. Right. We're gonna get our fingers on in there and mix this up real good. Make sure you evenly coat all of your asparagus you know you want to get a good coating of olive oil good coating of seasoning spread them out nice and good just like that and now you're ready for the oven all right we're gonna pat our salmon dry you know you don't want your salmon all you know too moist otherwise when you drop it in a skillet as opposed to searing you might you might steam a little bit you don't want to steam that moisture barrier between the fish and the skillet and any meat really for that matter if you're trying to get a good sear you want to try to make sure it's as dry as possible we'll go ahead and season this up use a little salt a little garlic powder, a uh, little paprika, and some cayenne. And we're just going to hook that up. I didn't go too hard because uh, I really want to taste that thyme and garlic uh, butter as we, you know, drizzle it upon. And you'll see that in just a moment. Right, and once you get your seeding on, you just want to rub it in just a bit. Make sure it's thick. There you go. Just like that. Now we're ready for the skillet. A little olive oil. Got to keep some olive oil in the kitchen. Right. Pan is nice and hot. Salmon goes in to the pan. We're going to do about five minutes total in the pan. And then we're going to transfer to the oven. Uh, you'll just see in just a moment. First, we're going to Get a nice little sear on it. Uh, I started off, got the pan nice and hot on high heat, turned it down to medium by the time I was putting my salmon in, and pretty much rolled it out on medium, you know, for the rest of the way. Um, you want to be careful. You don't want to cook it, you know, because at the end of the day, if you're going to do the, uh, the skillet and oven me uh, method that I'm doing today, you don't want to dry your salmon out. So it's not going to stay in the skillet too long, but we just want to get a nice sear, um, get that texture right. It's all about texture, this method. Um, and just making sure it's, it's, I don't like when my salmon has that uh, that white kind of pasty substance on it. I believe that's protein or something coming out, but I don't care for it. We're going to go ahead and flip these over. Nice and gentle right. Now, once we flip these, we will go ahead and uh, throw in our butter. We'll throw in our garlic. And we'll throw in our thyme. And we'll get it going here. I use about two uh, tablespoons of butter. And of course, you see three cloves of garlic. You end up using two sprigs of thyme. That's plenty. But, you know, of course, you need know, to use so. And uh, we'll let this pan do some work with it. There we go. Yeah. And we're just trying to make sure we get the salmon nice and coated with all that garlic and butter and thyme. And, uh, you know, even once we take this out, uh, we're going to keep this, set it to the side and put it on low so it doesn't coagulate or anything. And then we're going to drizzle all salmon at the end. But you go see. You go see. I've taken a pan, covered with some uh, foil, put some uh, olive oil on there, a little salt, pepper, garlic powder, rub it all in, and we're going to set our salmon skin side down right on that so it can continue to crisp up in the oven and get that texture exactly what we want. Good, so far, so good. Mm. 
Remember, we want to keep this, so we're going to set this to the side on low, and we're going to come back to that. Now we get a good look at that salmon. Look at that. You can hear it, too. Sizzling. Getting that skin nice and crispy. And uh, go ahead and getting uh, it done the rest of the way while still keeping that moisture locked in, keeping it nice and flaky. And now it's time to plate. We're going to put a nice bit of... Uh, pre-prepared mashed potatoes this will be the base of the dish get in there uh, we go almost good okay there we go get on on there all right we go ahead of our asparagus and this is just honestly just strictly about the look we want to plate it like this so we can get a nice vibe Add our salmon. And of course, the drizzle. Yeah, get a good look at that. One time. Two times. All right, and now we ready. Yeah. Get a good look at that B-roll footage. Yeah, yeah, you ready? We in the game. Came together real nice. All right, moment of truth. All right, good people, moment of truth. Yeah, nice and yeah. Dang, I was a little worried. All right, I'm the season just. Fire. Killed it. G. G. Go. Uh. E. G. Uh. Uh. As always, people, I appreciate you watching. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Uh, check out the, the, the comment section. Uh, drop a line. I hope you enjoyed it. Peace.